<laughs> this is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Thanks for joining us at the start of a brand new day. Now, Game was founded in 1970. Can you believe that, Jenny? 1970. Founded by Jack Schaefer and Alan Hellman, who wanted to put the fun back into what had become a tedious chore. Now, shopping, they believed, should be a game. So, when Game put out a call for their customers' fondest in-store memories in celebration of their thrifty 50 birthday, they could have never imagined receiving this next story, a legendary story from the legendary founder and humanist Jack Schaefer's daughter, Martine, who joins us on the line now with her sister, Leora Rubenstein, to chat about their dad's memory and how they were both there when it all began. Ladies, thanks so much for joining us. A very good morning to you. Good morning. Morning, hi. I mean, both of you must have such amazing memories. You were both there when the family business first began. But what was it like when Game first opened its doors and how were you both involved in the business from such a young age? So I was um, a mere four years old um, when, it, when it first opened its doors. And I mean, I remember not seeing much of my father because uh, he was always working. But as I grew up and I, sort of, I think I was about seven or eight, I was roped into the business, much like the rest of the family was. My mother was always a big part of it. And I literally started on the shop floor, selling candy, selling records. And, and one of my fondest memories is being at head office um, on the switchboard um, and answering, good morning, you always win at game. How can I help you? And I must have been eight years old and probably child labor today. Um, that was very much what it, what it felt like. You know, It was a family business. Yeah, and for me, I was only a year and um, when Game opened its doors. And uh, my father also made us very much a part of the journey of Game. Um, we modelled uh, the clothes. Um, we were also part of the ad advertising campaigns. And um, we were also part of all the special guests that he had at the, the stores. And it was amazing. That is truly amazing to be able to tap back into some of those memories. And speaking of those memories, which one of them stands out the most to you when it comes to your father himself, his personality, his character, and in particular, how he chose to run the business? For me, my memory was that he was always on the floor. There never felt like there was a hierarchy in the business. He embraced all staff and customers, and he was just always around to handle everything. He was a humanist. My father was a humanist first and foremost, mm. and he treated people fairly. And when you look back to 1970, he, he really promoted people fairly. You know, it was, there was no colour, there was no gender. It was really about your ability to do the job. What is maybe one of the most important business and life lessons overall that your father has taught you throughout um, his life and just his career as well? So I think for me, it was about taking risks. I definitely have his innovation, his ability to innovate and his entrepreneurial streak. And for better or worse, a strong work ethic. And for me, um, he always lived life with two mottos, certainly in his business. And one is don't sweat the small stuff. And I think that for me is really relevant now, as, you know, certainly in light of what's going on. And the second one, just as important, is uh, pick yourself up, dust yourself off and start all over again. It, you know, just lives true from... 50 years ago to today, it was just amazing. Brilliant life lessons mm. in general over there. Now, if, if both of you were to just take a step back out of the picture and seeing so many people across South Africa absolutely loving game as a brand, sharing their game stores memories with such pride, I mean, what do you think your father would think of the legacy today? I mean, my father was a visionary. He was a man way ahead of his time. So I don't think... Even he would have imagined how it has grown to the 142 stores across Africa. But he'd look at the people who were behind him. He was very humble. Yeah. And he looked at the people who helped build him to that place. Wow. Bringing it now to 2020, what does it feel like to walk into a game store today? Like, do the memories flood back and do you share them with your family and friends as well? I walked into Canal Walk last week with my 14 year old daughter when. Just when things were becoming quite um, significant, you know, when we got the first phone call, you know, to say how amazed they were that they found us. Um, and, yeah, I kind of had its old feel about it. It was sim simple. It was all about the product and, and it was about selling, selling product. It wasn't about the fluff around it and, 
And you, you know, when the, the motto of you always win at game, you kind of still feel that it lends true. You know, it's it's just it was a it was a simple but powerful brand, and I think it's it still is. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, I always want to walk in and just sort of tap someone on the shoulder and say, you know, tell them the story of the early days and how I also used to work there. My ethic of customer service. And I think everyone still has a memory. And I think that's really important. 50 years of winning with game and people certainly sharing their memories proudly around that. And of course, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of game with the Thrifty 50 Trolley Dash competition. So if I were to ask you ladies, what would be some of the items that you and perhaps maybe your inner child would want to throw into that trolley and run away with during a trolley dash? What would those be? So in today's time for me, I, 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 I am I'm up I'm a real humanist, and um, I think I would fill it with food and blankets and heaters to give to others. But if I was going to bring out my inner child, it would have to be sweets because I, I, I was at that candy counter from the very, very early days. <laughs> my father was so much not around, and uh, but he used to come back from his buying trips, long business trips, you know, buying all the latest toys and Barbies and dolls and whatever and it's for me we, we just had toy boxes filled with stuff yeah and I think both of us have again had that human side of us uh, or instilled in us that uh, you have to give back in order to receive so I think that we would probably um, well me too would you know try and give back that which we could yeah, yeah. I think he would want us to give back as 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 his daughters Oh, wonderful to see those values instilled in you ladies and that you are indeed still consciously thinking about paying it forward. And once again, congratulations to you and the entire game family for 50 amazing years. And here's to the next 50. Thanks for honoring his legend. Yeah, amazing. It's amazing for us oh, as, no. as his daughters. You know, he, he, he died so long ago and he was only there for 10 years and it's amazing for us to feel him alive again. Well, we certainly are honoured to be part of the journey. And of course, Game Store's opening hours are from Mondays to Fridays from 9 to 6, Saturdays from 9 to 5, and Sundays and public holidays from 9 to 4.